This is the project we're going to do today. This is an African violet teacup and this is using uh, SVGs that I purchased from the Dreaming Tree website and so let's begin. The SVG files that I'm using for this particular project I purchased from the Dreaming Tree and the actual address is up there in the yellow. It will also be in the description of this video. Then I opened up my Cricut Design Space and I created a project that will contain all of the different files that were included in the original zip file as it was purchased. And there, you can see the, each of the individual files here. And how I added these to the project was that I uploaded them one at a time by clicking on the upload and then browsing to the individual SVG files. This happens to be as it was unzipped from the zip file. And then you just add them one at a time. As you add them, you will select them and then insert them into your project. Now, some of these files have got score lines. And so one of the first things you have to do is attach any of the cut and score lines that are together. And I modified this one a little bit so that they all fit onto letter size paper. As it's purchased, they will fit onto 12 by 12 size paper. And so this is where I'm showing where you attach the cut line and the score line. And I actually additionally changed the score lines to actual score lines since my Cricut Maker it does have the capability of scoring. As they are purchased, they are cut lines. by inking up the flower petals with some Memento Danube Blue ink. And next I'll use some Memento Cantaloupe ink to ink the stamens that will go in the center of the flowers. And next I'll use some Memento Cottage Ivy to ink up the little leaves that are going to go underneath the flowers. Each flower is going to be comprised of one stamen, one of the little leaves, and one three petals and one two petal piece. And so there's going to be enough here for 21 flowers. Next I'll use a wooden dowel to first train all the leaves of the petals up, then a smaller dowel to turn the tips of the petals back down, and then the sides of the petals I'll alternate up and down, kind of in a random pa pattern, and I'll do the same with the two petal pieces. First by training them upward with a larger dowel, and then using the smaller dowel to put the leaves down, and then they'll go together to make a five petal flower. And then for the little leaves that go underneath, I'm just gonna use a small wooden dowel to turn those leaves downward. And the finished product will look something like this. Next, I'm gonna take some wooden toothpicks and I'm gonna take a scissors and just cut the pointy end off of one side of the toothpicks and I'll do this to 21 toothpicks. And I'll put a little piece of green floral tape on the side that I cut on each of the toothpicks so that there's just a little green top, just like that. Now I'll use my hot glue gun and I'll glue the stamen right on the tip and then I'll roll it, keeping the bottoms even so that I have the stamens on the end of each piece of toothpick. Okay, and next I'll take some of the 
uh, tape and wrap the rest of the toothpick. Then I'm going to just kind of screw on the three petal part of the flower and bring it up next to the stamen. Then I'll screw on the two petal, but use some hot glue to glue it into place. And then I'll arrange it so that it ends up with five petals like that. And then I'll put the little green leaf at the very bottom, again, twisting it on to get it to the very top. And that completes the flower. And I'll use the Memento Cottage Ivy again to ink up the edges of the big leaves. And now I'll use a piece of cardstock to ink a green line down each side of the leaf, making half of the leaf a little darker than the rest. Next, I'll use some unicorn white pigment ink, and I'm going to go over the edges of the leaves. And I'll actually go over each one a couple of times. And then I'll put one final layer on, holding it flat on my tabletop and inking it directly that way. And now I'll dry the pigment ink with my heat gun. Okay, this one there's some score marks around here. And so I have sliced down this styrofoam, this half styrofoam ball so that it fits within the score marks on this set of leaves, which wasn't an easy task. This is really, really thick styrofoam, and it didn't cut very cleanly, but uh, there you have it. And now I'll start to assemble the teacup, and I will first fold along the score lines of the bottom part of the teacup, And the panels on the bottom, I will glue the little bottom piece panels on. I will not glue the top panels yet, but I will glue these bottom ones on. Okay, now I'm going to fold it at all the tabs. So these top ones are going to just kind of fold like an accordion. So you're going to fold it down. And then this very top one down like this. And then the side one will go over to the side. And then these two will just fold over like this. And then the bottom will fold over. And then this tab fold over like this. And then I'll fold the rest of the score lines the same way. And we'll put glue on this tab. And then
I'll glue the rest of the panels together using the same technique, first by gluing in the bigger tab and then the smaller tab. And then at the very end, I will glue that last one together to join it together to make fit to finish off the bottom of the teacup. Okay, and then last is we'll put some glue on these. And then I'll glue that bottom tab on to complete the bottom of the teacup. And I'll use a dowel to kind of push it in. And next I'll do the lid of the teacup. And I'll start by folding along all the score lines. And I'm actually going to fold in both directions to make sure that those ends are going to hang down straight. And then I'll just glue it together at those little tabs using a clothespin to kind of hold it in place to give the glue a chance to dry. Okay, next we have our top part. And so I'm going to fold each of these at the score lines. Okay, next we're going to join these two halves together by putting some glue on this tab. And then just lining these two halves together. Okay, and then to check that we've got everything right, it should fold over flatly, which it does. Now we will start gluing everything together. So I will glue this one onto here. I'll repeat this for the rest of the tabs to complete the top of the teacup. And when I get to the end, I'll glue the two halves together. Okay, and now we'll put our panels on. And these also have score marks. So I'm going to fold them at the score marks. Okay, and one of these panels has a couple of slits in it, and that's going to go on the side that has the slits. So I will add some glue. And I'll glue the panels on, making sure that I line up the slits, and then I'll just glue the rest of the panels on to complete the top of the teacup. All right, next I'm going to take this bottom one. I'm going to lift the tabs up and just feed them through this so that they're coming through like that. Then I'll put glue on one of the tabs like that. And then I'm going to make sure that it's lined up and then seal it shut. And then 
then I'll repeat with the rest of those tabs, making sure that at each point along the way that everything is lined up. Okay, now we'll work on the handle. So I've got the side with the slits right here. So I've got two cardstock and then two of the trim. And so these are back to back. And I'm going to just fold at the score lines here. Like that. Top and bottom. Then I'm going to glue these two together like this, but I'm not going to glue the tabs. So I'll glue the pieces of cardstock together, being careful not to glue those tabs together. And then I'll glue my glitter trim on the outside of both. Okay, so now we'll just put these through the slits. The tabs will fold out like that, so we'll just put some glue. And then I'll glue those little tabs to the inside of the teacup. And next I'll fold the glitter trim along the score lines. And then uh, starting from the back of the teacup, I will start gluing the middle piece of trim into place. And I'll take the longer piece of glitter trim and fold it along the score lines. And then I will glue that along the base of the teacup. Okay, and then the lid goes on top like this. Now I want my styrofoam ball to be green, so I'm going to take some green acrylic paint and just paint it on top of this styrofoam ball. And next I'll take a wooden dowel and I'm going to train each of those large leaves forward. Then I'll take a smaller wooden dowel and train those leaves backwards so that they go up then down. Okay, now we're going to take our lid and we're going to glue it onto this biggest piece. And we're just going to line up the straight edges here with the edge of the lid. Okay, now the way we're going to position this is you've got a big flower here and then two little flowers clockwise to it. And so this flower is going to be down on the bottom. And then this big flower here is going to go in here like this. And that's how your leaves are going to go on. And so we'll glue this on here first. Okay, now I will glue this piece onto the bottom. And this was a big, 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 huge mistake. Don't glue this on at this point because when I added my flowers to the styrofoam there, I will end up smashing the lid that everything is mounted on. So you really need to do the next part, which is pushing the flowers into that styrofoam before you put that top layer onto the lid. Okay, and now we'll start putting our flowers in. 
And so I'm going to start by putting one on the very top. And the styrofoam that I'm using is so dense that I have to poke it with a pokey tool first to get it started. And then I'm just going to start pushing the different flowers in around in different locations. And this is the main reason that this top leaf portion shouldn't have been glued to the top because I had to apply so much force to get it into this dense, dense styrofoam that I ended up smashing the lid. And what I ended up doing was gluing the lid onto the teacup rather than letting it sit on there loose like it was designed. And this will make it more structurally sound since I did smash that lid as I was adding the flowers. And now I'm going to go in and just fix up and try and make these leaves a little bit better. And some of them I'll lift up so that it will hide a little bit more of the styrofoam. And so I'll just train these leaves to try and make this look a little better. And here is the final uh, African Violet teacup. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!